In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to rotate layers in Photoshop. So first and foremost, we're gonna rotate layers and not the actual background image or canvas. If you look up in the image dropdown, you might find image rotation. This is not what we wanna use. We wanna be able to rotate these layers individually. There's a couple ways to do this, and the first way that I always use is by selecting a layer, like this triangle, going up to Edit down to Free Transform. Now, I use the shortcut key Command-T, or Control T to start this free transformation. Once I do that, there's a bounding box around my object. Up in the top toolbar here, you can actually see a little rotation area. So if you want to rotate it by a set number of degrees, you can actually put that in here. You can grab this little rotation icon and click and drag right and left. Hold Shift while you do that to go in larger increments. Now I'm gonna press Command Z or Control Z to undo, but it's undoing each of those individually. So what I'm gonna do to reset this transformation is press the Escape key, and it's not going to commit that transformation. Command or control T really quick. The other thing we can do here is just go to the outside edge of our document, or not our document, but our object, and we see this little double-ended arrow. We can begin to rotate that easily. If we hold shift, it will rotate in 15 degree increments, allowing you to do 15, 30, 45, et cetera, 90. You know, if you want to lock that in to that rotation. Now, do you see this little thing right here. That's an anchor point. It tells us what we're rotating around. I show this by clicking this checkbox up here. It might be default off, so we can click it on. We can move it really click quickly to the upper corner, lower corner, middle, etc. but we can also click and drag it. What does this guy do? Well, it lets us rotate around this point. It's the rotation point, essentially. So if I want to rotate around the top of the triangle, now when I rotate, it actually rotates around that point. So you can see the difference between that. If I bring it down here, now we're rotating around that point. And this can be outside of your triangle. So if you wanted to rotate around something that's like out here, now look, that triangle rotates around that point <laughs> again, of course. So that gives you control over your rotation, whether it's in the center of your image or your shape or object, or if it's anywhere else, you can move that around. So anyway, once you finish this rotation, all you have to do is press enter or return on your keyboard, and now that object is rotated. We can select multiple layers by holding shift and clicking multiple layers or holding command or control to select individual layers if they aren't next to each other. But if I select this triangle and rectangle, command or control T, now I can transform these two guys together, of course, around whatever my rotation point is. So we can rotate those. Same thing with text. Really any layer in here, you can rotate these around that easily. Now I'm gonna show you a little preference that I don't ever have turned on because I don't like seeing bounding boxes all over the place. But if we have our move tool selected, we can actually come up here and check mark show transform controls. So any layer that we have selected, it's gonna show that bounding box already around that layer. And then I can just hover over here and I click the wrong spot. I can hover over here and click and drag to rotate this guy around. So I don't prefer to work this way because I don't like seeing bounding boxes around all my selected layers, but that's a quicker way maybe to not even use the shortcut key, which in my opinion is really quick. I just use it you know, really quickly, command or control T. But if you want to work in more of this way and this is easier for you, you can do that to kind of always show these transformation, uh, the transformation bounding boxes so that you can just rotate literally by selecting a layer and then rotating it. And of course you can move this around as well. And this rotation works for literally any text, any layer in your document, unless your layer is locked. So if we have a locked layer like this triangle, now those bounding boxes or the transform controls don't show. If we press Command or Control T, it doesn't do anything. If we even try to move it, you'll get this can't use the move tool because the layer is locked. So you have to have these unlocked, which you can just click that lock icon there. And this works for group or layer groups, it works for multiple layer selections, it works for anything. That's how to rotate layers here in Photoshop.